Hey tech enthusiasts, ever wondered what's cooking inside Intel's latest CPU? Today we're diving deep into the game-changing Arrow Lake CPU and its innovative chiplet-based design. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. So, what's the hype all about? Intel's Arrow Lake CPU architecture is breaking new ground with its chiplet-based design. Unlike traditional monolithic designs, Arrow Lake uses a combination of different tiles, each specializing in specific tasks. Let's break it down. First up, we've got the compute tile built on TSMC's N3B node. This 117.241 square millimeters tile is where the magic happens, housing all those powerful CPU cores. Next, there's the IO tile, also from TSMC but on the N6 node, managing interfaces like Thunderbolt 4 and PCIe Express. Then we have the SOC tile, another N6 node wizard, handling display engines, media engines, and DDR5 memory controllers. And of course, the GPU tile, packed with four XE GPU cores and an Arc Alchemist render slice, making it a graphics powerhouse. But wait, there's more. Arrow Lake's core configuration is truly unique. Intel has sandwiched the efficient E cores between the performance P cores to mitigate thermal hotspots. And the cache layout? It's impressive too, with 3 MB of L3 cache per P core and a shared 1.5 MB of L2 cache per E core cluster. Now let's talk performance. Despite its cutting-edge design, Arrow Lake faces some challenges. Interconnect latency between the tiles is a current issue, causing it to lag behind AMD's Ryzen 9000 series, and even some of Intel's own 14 Thought Gen CPUs in gaming benchmarks. But don't worry, firmware updates are in the works to tackle these hiccups. So why go chiplet? The benefits are huge. This approach allows for independent tile development, varied node usage, better yields, and cost reduction. Plus, it's a future-proof strategy, paving the way for more optimizations down the line. It's also worth mentioning that Arrow Lake isn't Intel's first rodeo with chiplets. Remember Meteor Lake S? Although it was cancelled, it laid the groundwork for what we're seeing now. And a quick note on the N3B node, while not bleeding edge, when Arrow Lake launched, it was tried and tested by Apple for their M3 series. So Intel's using a reliable, established process here, so there you have it. Arrow Lake is a fascinating leap forward in CPU design, despite some growing pains. If you're as excited as I am about the future of computing, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more deep dives into tech innovations. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.